Bismillah, Salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah Assalamu alaikum everyone Now we'll be looking at how to find the follow set for a given grammar So this is the grammar which we have been given So now we need to find the follow for this follow set of items for this grammar Again follow set contains only non only terminals as we have seen for the first as well So this contains only terminals And follow is calculated for the non terminals So all these non for this non terminals we need to find the follow set now uh, one thing that is a good practice is before finding the follow set we need to first calculate the first set for all these non terminals so that it will be helpful for the for finding the follow sets so here we have see we have the first set for all these non terminals you can look at the video of the first uh, how to calculate the first set of elements so this is the first set for all the non terminals now we'll be calculating the follow set of terminals for these non terminals so first is the e non terminal so now for this non terminal we need to calculate the follow sets basically follow set means the terminals which are immediately coming after this non terminal so whenever you are finding the follow for any non terminal first look at for, look for that non terminal in the right hand side of the grammar so we are we have follow of e so we will be looking for the e in the right hand side of the grammar so here we don't have e any anywhere in this grammar but here we have e now follow of e means the terminal which is coming immediately after the e so after e we have a closing bracket so that closing bracket will come in the follow of e follow set of e and then one more thing that is to that is what we need to remember is follow of a start symbol of a grammar will always contain a dollar because a grammar will always begin uh, a grammar will will always begin with the, with the start symbol whenever we are giving an input to a grammar then that input input will be start uh, that parsing will begin only when we encounter a start symbol for that grammar and once the in input is completed that means the uh, the start symbol which we have taken in the first has been passed completely only then we reach the end of the input and an end of the input is indicated by a dollar symbol so dollar will always be in the follow of a start symbol here e is the start symbol of the grammar so here we will have dollar in the follow of e then coming to the follow of e dash as i have already said we need to look for e dash in the right hand side of the grammar so here we have e dash in this expansion but there is nothing after e dash here so whenever there is nothing whenever we are finding a follow of a non terminal and that non terminal is coming at the end of, of a production at in this production e dash is coming at the end then follow of e dash will have follow of e elements in it because in the expansion of e e dash is coming at the last so whatever elements which will follow e will also follow e dash because e dash is at the end of the expansion of e so follow of e dash will also contain elements of e the so follow of e dash will contain the elements of e so we have we have dollar sorry closing bracket and dollar and then we need to look for other sides as well so here we have e dash that's done and here also we have e dash but again e dash is at the end of the production so we we'll look for the follow of this left hand side but this is also a e dash so follow of e dash and follow of e dash is the same so this is the follow of e dash now coming to the follow of t now follow for the follow of t we need to look for t in the right hand side of the grammar so here we have t but t is followed by a non terminal so whenever a non terminal for which we are calculating the follow that non terminal is followed by again another non terminal then we look for the first of these elements so the first of this non terminal will be the follow of this so the first of e dash as we have already calculated is plus and epsilon so first we write plus in follow of t but now we have epsilon here in the first of e dash so when we substitute epsilon here in 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 place of e dash then production will become like e tends to t because epsilon will be eliminated so this production will be like this e tends to t again t is at the end of this production so as t is at the end of this production follow of t will be follow of e so all the follow of e elements will now be placed in follow of t so the follow of t will now have closing bracket and dollar 
and then again we are calculating follow of t dash so t dash we need to find at the right hand side of the grammar here t dash is at the right hand side of the grammar so again t dash is at the end of the expansion of this production so whenever a non terminal is at the end of a production then the left hand side follow elements will be uh, placed in the follow of t dash because this is at the end of the expansion of this non terminal so these follow elements will be present in this follow elements so the follow of t dash will have plus closing bracket and dollar and then uh, we are calculating the follow of f so follow of f we need to look for the f in the right hand side of the grammar so f is here and then f is again followed by a non terminal so for the first of this non terminal will be follow of f so the first of t dash as we have already calculated is star and epsilon so we have star and again we are having epsilon in the first of t dash so then this production this production will become t tends to f because t dash can be epsilon also so, so when t dash becomes epsilon this production this production will become like this t tends to f again f is at the end of this production so follow of this t will be follow of f also so follow of t will be follow of f so we will we'll be having plus closing bracket and dollar so this is the procedure for calculating the follow elements assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh